guys, how you doing? This is Sebastian's worst nightmare right now. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I did one. Um, got a haircut since the last video. What are you guys saying? What are you thinking? We are now at the moment in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur. This is my first time in Kuala Lumpur. I've never been before. I'm coming again later on in this month. But this is a very special trip, like the last video, because I have another one of my siblings with me. Yeah. You're not in the shot. You need right. to come here. Oh, sorry, you're taller than me. We'll just go higher. You haven't met Sebastian, he's been in one little video before, a little cameo. Whoa, look at that wavy hair, look how wavy my little brother's hair is. It's not too bad though. But anyway, but now he, now he has to be in one, so he's gonna have to puck up, buck, 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 there. Buck up his ideas and get on with it. This is also an exciting trip because it's Seb's first ever long haul flight, correct? Yeah, uh, I've only done uh, Europe before, which is about two hours, three hours, and uh, it was 13 hours our flight, so. Yeah. Long flight, long, long flight. Seb loves everything to do with Asia, yet he has never gone, so we're big, big foodies. We love everything to do with the cuisine here, the culture, and so now he's finally experiencing it. Yeah, let's go. Mm. Mm. We arrived now at the Batu Caves, which are quite like in the city. They're not too far out, but they're further out. They were found in these caves in this mountain side um, over 120 years ago, or well, they've been a site for 120 years. The awesome thing about this is we've come just in time where they've done this huge redecoration. Um, it's a Hindu temple, that's what it so that's where this statue guy is. But they've painted the entire temple, all these incredible colors in the past month, and all up here. A taxi driver was telling us how they haven't changed it in 10 years. I don't know if that's true or not, but in the past month they painted it this colour. Hey. <laughs> 2006. So that is very recent. Many a step here to get up. Oh, oh hey Macau. How are you doing? Oh, he's got a little baby. I didn't even notice. So the entire temple is covered with all these different shrines and statues. And then inside the actual cave, you've got all of these different statues. Just currently waiting here to go and do this um, dark cave exhibition, which is recommended by a lot of guidebooks and a lot of people. What do you think of that? Yeah, it was crazy, wasn't it? We're just chilling here, basically, waiting for this cave to open. Opens in ten minutes um, with all of these monkeys, which are basically like just other people wandering around. We're just waiting in line now. Our tour starts in about two minutes. Yeah. Seb's too cool for helmet. Three of the duck cave. 
So before this, this cave was discovered by the Chinese farmers, they came here, they want to dig up the guano. Are you familiar with the word of guano? Anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Somebody say bad poop, is it? Okay, thank you so much. Okay. So guano is the bad poops or the bad dropping. So remember when you want to look up, please cover your mouth. We don't want free lunch over here. why we cannot point up the lights because it might hurt their eyes they use vision just like us so they're very sensitive to light so please be careful with your flashlight what is the color what is the color on the back pool the guano but where they cannot find any guano they can eat their own back legs their own legs Currently on our way back now out of the caves. Got many photos, lots of other stuff. What an experience, that was amazing. Couldn't do much filming in there because we had to be quiet because of the bats, because there are so many. We don't want to disturb them. And it also took me about 10, no, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. 20 minutes to figure out how to use flash on my camera because I never have, I never take photos inside dark places. Um, but I got, I got it, I got it working in the end. So after paying far, far too much for um, a taxi, mm. which we managed to wiggle down and after paying an entrance fee for my camera, apparently, not an entrance fee for a mobile phone, but just for my camera. We're now in Frim, which is a huge park, um, national park. Sure. Best way to get around the island, the island. The best way to get around the national park is obviously by renting bicycles. I want to ride my bicycle. But um, we can't do that for various reasons. We don't have helmets, that's why. <laughs> yes, we don't have helmets. Hmm, is that the only reason? Hmm. Currently, we're just having a little jaunt around, seeing where we're meant to be headed. Because I don't have a clue, to be honest. Never been here. Best thing about here, where we've just headed, is that there are no other tourists at all. Just our loans themselves. And locals going for a swim in the rivers. Probably the most exercise you've done in a while? I've done sport in like a year. One of the main reasons we came here was because in our Lonely Planet guidebook it stated that there was this canopy walkway just as we entered the park we saw a sign saying that it got shut last year we have no idea why. Anyway we've just seen a sign with this old path directing towards the canopy walkway we're going to see if it's still intact we're not going to go on it. Well whether it's open or shut we've made it. We've made it to the walkway all the way up it's just here, and it goes all the way up into the canopy. Such a shame that this place is shut. Obviously, either someone fell, or something obviously happened because it just shut immediately in 2017. Canopy walkway constructed with the assistance of Germany. No wonder. Made it back to civilization now, back on the road. We now need to try and cop a taxi back to the hotel and have a much needed shower and beer because it is extremely hot and sweaty. Got no idea how, but somehow we managed to hail down a taxi in the middle of nowhere. But it's come to our attention that everyone who rides mopeds wears their jackets or jerseys back to front on their body with the zipper open. And I'm just wondering why. There's a very luminous drink we've bought. Which Seb's not too sure on. Um, so I can taste the mango, but... Well, we're back at the hotel. We were going to get some food. But it's just completely started tipping it down. As predicted. We have to get an umbrella or something from the hotel lobby. Hopefully they have something. Seb was very prepared. And he's got this big old waterproof anorak thing. 
I ain't got nothing. Because I pack light, so... It doesn't look too bad out now, but we still got an umbrella for priorities. We are headed right up there, I believe. Well, we're not at the helipad yet, we're just at the bar beforehand, and there's some pretty crazy views already. Do you reckon you've ever been up this high? Look down, let's show that. We're 34 floors up. Oh, we've made our way up here. The um, Petronas Towers just to come and get a look at it at night. It's pretty darn awesome. They used to be the tallest building, um, apart from the bird when the Burj Khalifa got built. So as soon as that got built, they were made redundant as the tallest building. But these are still the tallest twin towers in the world. We made it to a um, Pasar Milan, which is basically just um, translates directly into night market, and there are a load around the city. And this is the main one in um We got this stuff. Purchase number two is a lemon um just a lemon refreshing drink, I believe. No, it's not a spirit in it. Oh is that spirit? Yeah. You think? No, because the other one's a mojito. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, the taxi, yeah, so that cost us three ringgit, and a taxi would have cost us 15 ringgit. And three, three ringgit, ringgit for both of us, and it's much, much quicker, to be fair. So, um, yeah, always research public transport before you come somewhere. Because I didn't, and now we're right by our hotel, like directly by it. So we'll definitely be using this tomorrow. Right. What is the plan? Tell me some stuff to say so you don't end up saying everything and you just got a blank person next to you. I don't need to tell you stuff to say, I'll just ask you no, questions. No, no, but you're saying we're doing this and this and this. Instead of that, you say we're doing this and then I'll go and we're also thinking about doing this. This is